So guys, um, I came this evening to see John TV uh, in the hospital. He sent for me. He told me that, that uh, his finger was found today. And I said, I need to come and see him, you know, to know how he's doing and how his brothers. Hello, John. Yeah, good evening, friends. How are you feeling? Bless God. Thank God. Okay. Because even in the lion's den, it said that you should still thank your God. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, so oh, you, you told me I should come and you wanted to show me something. Yeah. Yes. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. What's this? Um, oh my God. My finger. Oh. Uh, it was found it was found today uh -oh. you can see oh, it's dried it's dried okay. it was found today oh. so uh, my I, you know throughout since this finger came to me i've been wondering i've been thinking what do i tell my children uh i have I, if I should have kids now and they like they are like daddy where is the other finger of yours and these ones are complete how about the other ones you know I don't know what I'll be telling them will I tell them that uh, for just protecting my arms uh, that I was trying to like make sure I made a better living for them today and that was when I lost my finger. Um, some house flaggy guys that I have no business with. <clears throat> we don't share the same lane. They are on the left lane, I'm on the right lane. We don't have any business, we don't do no business. They came simply because they came, they wanted to steal my arm, and I said no. Uh, that was when they started like putting axes, cutlasses, everything on me, you know, such poisonous weapons on me. Um, I can keep this finger down and uh, open up my shirt so you can see. Like there are more cuts. Yeah, more cuts. Uh, they were like, let's rip out his heart. Ooh. Let's cut off his heart. Let's make sure that his intestines are out. Ooh. Um, if not for God's grace, as you can see, God intervened that, as you can see, this, this is a sword cut, which didn't penetrate so deep. Whoa. Uh, you can, look, this is another one. Yeah, this is another one too. As you can see, we have a lot of them at my back. As you can see. Wow, wow. You can see at my back, several several strokes up to 10 it's 10 strokes of cutlasses you can see them okay um, and this this bandage on my head if it was opened before being sewed i don't think you can take this pic this video you can do it you can't do it because even when i was brought to the hospital not all the please nurses sit, sit. yes not all the nurses could stand it wow uh, some some flee. Uh, it was just the doctor and very few that were there to like help me out. So and you know I was saying something. I was saying something that whenever I bring this finger close, there's a friction. Even now, hmm. I can feel it because the finger feels like this is my home. I don't want to go. Uh -uh. I want to be here. But you know things happen. Uh, it has happened already, and <laughs> should I say, I'm bleeding to the finger that, you know, this what before before this day, um, from Genesis, the Lord have said it that on this very day, you will not be here anymore. Uh -uh. So, please, uh, I'm saying, I'm begging my finger that uh, this is what the Lord have already designed that it should be. So it has been, it has come to pass. But for, for, for what I still repeat, 
and to say again is that I have no business with these guys. I, I have never quarreled with them. Um, uh, when I mentioned in my first video, if I had mentioned anything like a dialogue, and the dialogue I'm trying to talk about is like you using diplomacy to make sure that there is peace. Yeah. And when they come to you, you know that these people are, are, are troublesome. You just try to maneuver them, then you you send them away, then they go. But in this case, knowing that the yams are now expensive, they armed themselves and came, dropped some of them at the back, some at the front, and then they came in. Now I still thought uh, that there were those normal two, three guys that do came. I didn't know that they were up to like 30 to 40, 50, 100. Because the last time they came, this, the third badge that came, 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 came in numbers that one could just not just imagine. There were too many. I couldn't even count them. On that road. On that road. And they were there. They were there. They, they lasted there for like an hour. Whoa. Yeah, they lasted there for like an hour. Um, I, and I believe that one or two persons would have seen that. And, and, and can can even testify, they can even say from from wherever they are right now, they can even say it because they saw it too. Like when I was being being attacked, when they surrounded me, there were like up to three vehicles that came stopped, but nobody could just no. help. Sorry, sorry, John. So sorry. I thank God I'm alive today. I'm so sorry, John. Mm. Sorry about your finger. Sorry about your ordeal. Mm. I, I need you to understand. Uh, please, uh, this is from my heart. I need you to understand that Enugu State is not a violent place. Please. Because the people, the elders at Artisan will not say they don't know these people. They know them. Because when these guys came, they were mentioning somebody, Aminu. They were mentioning Aminu, that Oga Aminu said they should do anything, they own artisan, they can do anything in artisan. If they go, they don't have any problem, that he's going to take control. And that Aminu, from, from what I've learned, is that he's one of their Oga um, uh, on that gong gong. The, what I mean by gong gong is those people who push those trucks mingling around, they just go, they make sure that they survey the areas in the afternoon, oh. then by night, yeah. they go on to strike. That's Whoa. what they do. Whoa, this is more critical. That's what they do. Because if you look at it, the last time, our governor, uh, which is Samuel Otom, he passed an order that there should be no, no, nothing like gong gong in Benue State. Okay. Uh, nobody, yes, he accepts that a, a, a house person can bring beans, he can sell beans, he can bring uh, uh, rice, he can sell rice, he can bring sugar cane, sell sugar cane, bring carrots, sell carrots, because these are what we know that they do farm. Yeah. But in a situation whereby you go up to like 50 kilometers and then go see a house man in an interior village saying he's coming there to pick uh, uh, waste irons. He's going there to investigate. No words there. Then by night they come and they strike. And that's why when they come come to attack you, you begin you begin to wonder how did they succeed in knowing this roof? These are the boys that do these things. I'm not saying that every house person is the bad person. Yeah. In every tribe, you must see. Uh, uh, to you must see the good ones. Like being in the hospital here, I have up to like so many house friends that have been calling me. Yeah, they've been calling me. Uh, please, I want you to get well soon. I had I heard what happened to you. I'm so sorry about it. Well, um, with the situation of my body now, I'm beginning to get a little tired. So, I'll just give a little piece of advice here. I, 
I think. Just help me, please. Can you just put this on your dress? Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Go ahead. Um, the the Inugu people. You know, um, I am a stranger too. But what I do here is, I go out. I bring what I want to sell. After selling it, I go out again to bring it. I don't, I don't come in and then stay, stay in a place whereby I have nothing doing, and then start mingling around, peeping around to look for something of or someone I can steal from. So what I'm trying to say here is that I'm not saying. Everybody in artisan is bad. There are good people in artisan, which I know, and if even it costs mentioning their names, I can, which are not important for now. Uh, I just think everybody should be very, very careful with that artisan area. Because if, in fact, you are supposed to ask me, ask us who are from Benue State, how we manage to, to, to cultivate and then harvest these yams to bring it out for people to buy here, take it to their homes and eat. It's not easy. Sometimes you cultivate, you, 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 you cultivate up to a thousand tuba and then you end up surviving with 300 tubas. But then you take it like that. So what I'm trying to say here is that the in, the Enugu people here, you don't know the people you are dealing with, and I just pray that you realize that as soon as possible, because when it's late, you regret it. You regret it. I've said it. I've said it because I've lived with them. I've lived with them all my life because this Benin State, Benin State, which is in the heart of Nigeria, very cl close to these people. They come in all the time. They pass through there. They, they they feed they feed on what we cultivate, and I know I know how it works. So by the time you start letting people like that come into your place, stay comfortably, and there's nothing, they feel there's nothing to be done to them, then. I'm so sorry, John. So sorry, really. Sorry about your finger. Yeah. This is, this is tough, man. Mm. Yeah, it is. So sorry, please. So I need to let you know that Enugu State is uh, not a, a, a very radical area, all right? Mm. We're so sorry that this happened to you in the course of doing your business, all right? Mm. I, don't know, I don't know how to explain this, but just know that they are hospitable people. If mm. not, you wouldn't have succeeded in doing one or two businesses out there. Yeah. I'm sure that what happened, maybe it's predestined. Otherwise, it's just something that people need to be conscious of. Maybe it's been happening and nobody knows. Yeah. You, you understand? And, yeah. Or maybe this is the first time it's happening. But either way, it's not palatable, trust me. But I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I, I Trust me, it's not going to be as easy as you're thinking. But we just pray that everything works well and turns out well all right thank so you. sorry get well soon john yes. get well soon thank you and your family i've been able to get across to your family i hope they've called you yeah they, they've been called they've okay. been calling okay they've been calling probably uh they might be on their way too okay okay so thank god I, I thank God that they've been able to communicate to you because I, I didn't get any of their numbers. I had to tag them on Facebook, okay? okay. So uh, maybe when they come around, just tell me, then I can come see them. Okay. All right. All right. So thank you guys for watching. It's OZHO4. I appreciate you all and God bless you. Good night, guys.
So, bro, uh, how are you feeling now? This is his brother who was also attacked, his head broken. How was your exam? You wrote jam today. Yes, I thank God, even though it wasn't easy. Oh. But I was unable to write well due to the pain. Okay. But I still thank God. Okay. By the grace of God, I will make it. Amen. What course did you apply for? It's public admin. Okay. Okay. Which school? I applied Benue State University okay. and Boko Polytechnic, still okay. in Benue State. Okay. Okay. Now, is that your second choice too? Yes. Okay. Public admin. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. Eh? Thank What's you. your name? My name is Raymond. Okay. Raymond. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. All right. Thank you. Sorry about your deal in Enugu. Right? Yes, ma'am. We're Thank not you. so bad. <laughs> we're not bad people. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. So, guys, we're not bad people. It's just unfortunate. Good night. <laughs>